Greetings and salutations, everybody. Lately, a lot of people have been asking me, um, because I hope that they're really happy for me and very excited to support me, how life at USC has been. And I thought that I would talk about that with you guys. And rather than responding individually to everybody, I'll just make one big encompassing video and I'll post it and everybody will enjoy it and it'll be super fun. Or nobody will give a shit. Um, can only go one way or the other. Okay, so I have six classes and a discussion section this semester, which is crazy. Uh, I start the week off with fundamentals of cinematic sound, which is insane. Uh, basically, the very first thing we did was watch a clip from Star Wars with the Asians and a clip from Indiana Jones. And basically, we broke these clips down one at a time based on different audio tracks that are present. So we would isolate things like the score or the dialogue or the background noise or the effects tracks. And we would look at them individually and then we would pull back and look at the big picture. It was fantastic, let me tell you. Very good way to start the course. That professor is, uh, uh, he's magnificent. Really quite young to be teaching at USC. I was kind of surprised, but he's quite a good teacher. Uh, he's very engaged. I'm also taking Intro to Cinema, woo! I'm also taking Intro to Cinema with the famed Drew Casper. Very well known within the school and also relatively well known within the film industry. He's been widely acclaimed and denounced uh, for being quite theatrical. Like he'll like yell at students and try to get them to pay attention. Like he'll, for example, he'll get very, very close to you and say things like, you cannot move on unless the story makes sense. You are stuck. You have no hope of healing unless a story makes sense. Real life doesn't have to make sense. Stories have to make sense. Uh, definitely a, a mind expander. If any of you are at USC or even just live in Southern California and have the opportunity to audit something like that, absolutely recommend it. The very first film we watched was Sunset Boulevard, which I had never seen before, but had been able to grasp the basic plot of just by being a film major and hearing people discuss movies, great movies on a regular basis. It was fantastic. I'm also taking uh, writing the short script, which is equally wonderful and enjoyable. Uh, writing the short script is exactly what it says on the tin. I'm studying under a professor who looks just like Colin Firth, but his hair isn't quite as good. One of the first things he told us was about how shamans were the storytellers of their villages and tribes. And they would live on the outskirts of these villages and towns, and, and they would be the ones who would get just a little bit of the light from the center of the village, but really they would live largely in the shadows. They would live on that border between light and darkness and how symbolic that was to writers who are choosing to live between light and darkness and who are choosing to shun the nine to five job in favor of living with the ability to have a unique and important perspective based on your observations about the world. He gave us this handout that said, according to Jamie Sams, a shaman is a person who is willing to confront the greatest fears and shadows of physical life. A shaman has walked up to the gates of their personal hell and walked in. And he said, for anyone who ever wanted to belittle you or dismiss you for wanting to be a writer or into the film industry or get into any sort of career like that in which you are a storyteller, you tell them, fuck you, man, I'm a shaman. So I like him. I'm also taking a, uh, all of my classes are magnificent. I should say that now. So I'm just gonna say magnificent over and over. I'm also taking a magnificent class called Reality Starts Here, taught by Tara McPherson, who in speaking for maybe 20 minutes, blew me away with how magnificently magnificent and eloquent she is. I mean, she was very clearly extremely learned, but not in any sort of pretentious way or, or in any way that was the typical condescending professor. One of the very first things she did was show us a short film based on Minecraft, Link in the Doobly-Doo. She also showed us a video from a member of the Harry Potter Alliance, Link in the Doobly-Doo as well. And most impressively, uh, she is clearly such a big Lost fan that she actually knows about the Lostopedia and went on that and, and was able to show us um, a magnificent, magnificent graph of uh, basically the different timelines in Lost, but it's, it's a three-dimensional graph that shows... 
And of course, I'm taking the mother and father, I guess, the mama and the daddy of all classes, which is known as the infamous 241 and 290. These classes are classes in which we make five short films in the space of 12 weeks. Your very first film gets shot the first weekend you get into class. They will stuff you in the cannon and shoot you back out, as my professor likes to say. I shot my first film this weekend and completed editing on it today which feels magnificent. But seriously, I was up until like 4 a.m. every day this week. The anxiety alone is enough to kill you. 241 and 290 are a set of paired classes, one of which you spend screening films, critiquing films, and learning how to uh, properly review films by saying things other than, oh, it was good, it was bad, I liked it, it sucked, whatever, bro, yolo sway, because those aren't really appropriate or valid uh, critiques of a work of art because your opinion isn't valid until you back it up with evidence. We do that in 241 and in the 290 class that's where we get to be hands-on and use all the equipment that we're learning about. It's where we get to learn how to use our magnificent cameras and our magnificent Avid Labs and our magnificent magnificence. What's really struck me about the transition from Moore Park to USC, and this is obviously an immediate first impression but they say those are the most important, is the difference in how motivated and interested people are. At Moore Park, you have 90% of the population not really wanting to be there, not really sure why they are there or if they should continue to be there. And as a result, you have a lot of unengaged students. People who've kind of shut off, don't really want to raise their hand. And when they do, they often contributed, uh, contribute really simple, uh, bare minimum kind of ideas. Of course, there are a ton of people there who totally defy that standard and there always will be at every school. However, the people who defy that standard and choose to go above and beyond and think critically about the world are in abundance at USC, particularly in my in my film classes. I'm only taking film classes this semester, so that's all I can speak for, but everyone there is excited to be there, sharing intelligent criticism and really enthusiastic about learning, which is something that I've really yearned for for a long time and haven't been able to find in most of the schools I've been to. So to make that kind of big fish transitions from Little Pond to the ocean, uh, feeling that feeling has been terrifying. It's been really scary. It's also the most excited I've ever been about school, and I love school. So yeah, that's how my first week went. I enjoyed the hell out of it. I hope you guys enjoyed listening to it. If you want to hear any more updates, you just let me know. Take care, everybody.